Hey everybody, I am here today to show you and more specifically tell you and show you both together how to fix a skateboard that turns by itself. These will be some easy steps in a full tutorial, so let's get right into this instructional video. So essentially, if your skateboard is turning by itself, there is one main reason why it is likely happening, and then two sub-reasons, two more sub-reasons that might be the cause. It also might be all three of those reasons together. I'll go over each of the reasons and show you how to fix it, so hopefully your skateboard can stop turning by itself. Now, <clears throat> essentially, the number one reason that a skateboard turns by itself is the trucks. Now it can be a couple of different aspects of this. The first aspect is that the trucks are too loose. So your trucks, obviously you can tighten them, you can loosen them, it's your own personal preference, but essentially um, your trucks should be tight enough where when you're not leaning on the skateboard, they're in a nice centered position. If they're too loose, then they're gonna lean to one side or another side even when you're not on the skateboard and that is going to cause it to turn by itself. In addition, your trucks might be misaligned, meaning one of your trucks might be too loose or too tight compared to the other one. So what you wanna do is very simply get your hand and apply pressure to each truck and just make sure they're roughly the same tightness. So I can see already that this one I think is, a, is slightly looser than this one. This one's slightly looser. Now, these, this skateboard doesn't turn by itself. It's not an issue that, the, that I'm experiencing with this board, but this one is slightly looser. So what I would do is I would take this and I would tighten it up just a little bit, okay? And now they roughly feel about the same. You just need to make minor adjustments. So look at the trucks. Are they too loose in general or are they misaligned with regards to their uh, evenness of them, uh, with the tightness of them, okay? If that doesn't help you out and you've sort of experimented with the trucks, then you're gonna want to fix number two, which is the actual wheels. If one wheel or one set of wheels is more, um, is more worn down than the other, then that can cause it to turn by itself. Let's say I lean more towards one side of the board and this, these specific wheels over here, sorry, I just heard a sound. I'm home alone in the house. Yeah, never mind. I just heard a sound. I got a little bit worried, but it could have just been me on the mat sliding around. I'm on like my, in my basement here on like a play mat. Anyways, let's say that these two wheels were for some reason more worn down than these two. If these two wheels are smaller, in theory, the board will turn to this side. Or let's say, for some reason, I did a super hard slide and these two wheels had a dent in them and these two didn't. Then the board would turn to this side. So look at your wheels. Do some of them look smaller than others? Do some of them look more dented than others? If that's the case, that's probably the part of the cause. And just replace the wheels. They're inexpensive. They're, they're easy to replace. Honestly, it's so easy. I've done a separate tutorial on it. Just replace the wheels. If that doesn't help you out, you're going to move on to number three, uh, which is that it could also be a bad bushing. So essentially, these right here, sorry, let me get that on camera. These right here are your bushings. And if one of these is cracked or worn down, then it's gonna cause the trucks to turn to one side. So even if only this one, let's say just this one right here is cracked or worn down too much, then the truck is gonna turn to one side or the other. And when the board is going this way, when it's traveling this way, this will guide the board to turn by itself. So you have gotta replace the bushings once again. Super inexpensive, super easy to do. Um, yeah, and that, that's essentially it. Those are the three uh, fixes in this full tutorial, the three steps towards fixing a skateboard that turns by itself. Hopefully one of them works for you. If not, you can try all three together and you're probably, hopefully gonna solve your problem. If you like this video instructional tutorial, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.